Hey guys, this is Joe Tech from Joe Tech Tips, one Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And today we're going to be testing the Ice Giant Pro Siphon Elite one more time. So we're going to beat the crap out of this right now. We're going to hit stress CPU and we're going to see what temps we get. And here we go. So right now we're at 100% CPU uh, load and the temp is cranking up. We're at 69C at the moment, 70C. I want to let this go for a good minute or two. And we want to see how well the CPU... Now, let me let, let you know that we are on silent mode in the BIOS. And it will automatically increase the fans based on temperature. Okay, so this will automatically kick up and cool down the CPU. Now, as you can see, we're 100% load on the CPU. And we're retrieving... Gee, this is impressive. 71C. 71C. 100% on all cores is pegged, and the Pro Siphon is doing it at 71C. Folks, if that isn't impressive, I don't know what is. That is freaking amazing. Absolutely amazing. This is definitely the cool. I'm going to let it keep going. I want to see how hot we can get this. This Pro Siphon Elite is definitely kicking some major ass. 71C. That is nuts. That is below boiling. Boiling is 220 degrees Fahrenheit. So that is definitely, I would not want to touch hot water. That is 159 degrees. You will definitely get second degree burns. This is impressive. 100% CPU. We're a CPU multi-thread test. We're at 16,166. That's an incredible number. We're cranking, man. We're doing really well. 71C. So now we're going to go back into BIOS. We're going to change it to full mode, full performance, 100% fans, and see what we get. So let's do that now. Okay, now we are running full speed on the fans. Uh, we are cranking. You can kind of see it's cooling a little bit more it's cpu we just rebooted we're going to go into uh, bench and we're going to do the we're going to do the identical test we're going to crank this baby up and we're going to see what the temps are and we're just going to hit it and go for it and see what the temps are in this when the fans are full blast so is it worth it to go full blast and go full noise or not. So that's what we're doing right now. So we're at 67C, 68C, full bore CPU, as you can clearly see. Is it worth it to go full speed on the BIOS? Now, remember, we were at 71C before. We're at 69C. It could still get up there. Even though the fans are full full speed. Now, remember, we're running full fans. All four fans are cranking at full speed. And we're running 69C. And we're running 100% CPU across all 24 cores. Right now, we're at 70C. We're getting there. We're cranking up slowly. The test here is to see if the speed of the fans makes any difference in terms of temperature. It looks like not so much. So even if you leave it on silent, it'll automatically ramp up the speed when it requires it. So it's not really necessarily a good thing to crank it up. Now we hit 71C, so it doesn't really matter. So you can leave it on silent mode. and it'll still get you to 71C regardless. So it doesn't matter if you have it full bore or not with the Pro Siphon Elite. So this is a good test. Um, again, you're never going to have full load across all CPUs ever. I don't care. I don't care what kind of game you're running. Well, especially not 24 cores, 48-thread um, CPU here. Normally, this is not going to be, you know, 100%. This is just for this benchmark. And the Pro Siphon Elite is kicking some major ass. This is impressive. I like it. 
71C is definitely a respectable number. Now remember, 100% CPU. This is nuts. Absolutely nuts. And we're still a 71C. That is freaking impressive. So guys, if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. And if you're not a subscriber, please subscribe. Take care and we'll see you next time.